I want to stay strong today because we got some good news and we also have bad news about Modern Warfare 2 Season 1. We're hearing about Warzone 2, the raids, uh, we got brand new maps, brand new DLC weapons, we have Battle Pass and a lot of Shiza to talk about. So let's just get right into it. Shout out to every single one of you for 2,000 likes on the last video. Subscribe if you're brand new, hit the bell and coming in at over number 9 spot, fellas. I cannot believe it, okay? Apparently this is a leak, but we're hearing that the UI in Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2 is set to receive an overhaul that will be performed in stages rather than all at once according to a new report from well-known Call of Duty leaker strong and independent strong and independent Ralph Wall who previously peaced out he said that he will never be leaking stuff but I guess what like two weeks after he was back at it again okay so drop a thumbs up for the homie homie making moves out there but this is actually good news because i mean damn bro like i look at the modern warfare 2 ui it is complicated every time i look at it every time people look at it i've even seen your comments you said that yeah you meant don't look behind you okay i've seen your comment people have been saying that every time i look at it i burn like 20 billion calories and i'm like damn bro like can a brother perhaps go back to the normal days y'all remember modern warfare 2 the original one you remember remember Modern Warfare 3, you remember Mo uh, Black Ops 2, the UI was just banging bro, it was simple, it looked pretty good, and on top, it worked, it did work! <gasps> Because this new UI in this new Modern Warfare 2, people always are making fun. It's made by a Netflix worker and it is indeed made by a Netflix worker. Yeah, that was actually confirmed. So a homeboy that used to work at Netflix, he pieced out, he was making benches with them, but he went with Activision, designed the Modern Warfare 2 UI, and he made it basically like a Netflix type subscription. And a lot of people are looking at this, people are catching herpes, and a lot of people are scratching their ball sack. Other people just cannot even compute. Some of the homies drop in copium in the chat. Uh, people forgot this game was developed under a pandemic with three years and 3,000 staff, apparently. And not just that, we're gonna be getting the UI, apparently. We're also gonna be getting Warzone 2 on November 16th. We're also gonna be getting DMZ on November 16th. And the newest thing is gonna be DMZ. I know most of you are like, yo, Skidla, did you forget about Warzone 2? That's gonna be a new thing. I mean, damn, man, we already have seen Warzone. So Warzone 2 is gonna be similar. We already have seen the gameplay. But DMZ is gonna be the latest thing. A lot of people are really hyped for it. A lot of people are shaking. Some are doing helicopters with their release, and understandably so, because nowadays, what well, what do we get, right? Like maybe one game a year that is like uh, semi decent. Every other game comes out unfinished, and this is basically the only happiness we have as gamers, right? And they like to say toxic gamers. We always are labeled as toxic and problematic. I mean, damn. But also check this out. So Infinity War also did say that raids are gonna be arriving in Call of Duty later this year to which GameSpot came out and apparently we're hearing that raids are gonna be coming in Modern Warfare 2 on December 14 and that's gonna be continuing the storyline to which the homie says that I want Mommy Valeria to which the homie GG Reloaded responded the homie GG is like literally everywhere he said that stop watching the hub go outside and meet people and, and I mean damn right in simple stead muffin terms he was trying to tell this main that a pom pom can lead people to dangerous places which is actually true Right. But coming in at our number seven, Treyarch confirms that rank play is gonna be coming in Modern Warfare 2 in 2023. People started dropping W, a lot of people started dropping Hopium. That maybe now we're gonna get rid of skill based matchmaking. And I'm sitting here, I'm like, bro, like, we already got rank play in Modern Warfare 2. <gasps> I know some of you might be looking like this, others might be shocked, but dead ass, bro. Like, the normal multiplayer, that's a rank play, my guy. We got 20 tons of skill-based matchmaking, and some homies are saying that show remove skill-based matchmaking from casuals, then that never happened. It will never happen. Not today. Never will. Not tomorrow. And that's never gonna happen. Not ever. Not ever. We're also apparently gonna be getting that tier one hardcore. It's also gonna be arriving on November 16th, and yep, ladies and gentlemen, that's the one, that's the one, that's the one, okay? Yeah, we're finally gonna be getting hardcore in the game. I mean, damn, man, can a brother perhaps not see it be called tier one? But I understand why they're calling it. And for two people that are unsure why they're calling it tier one, why are they trying to be strong and independent in this situation? Well, apparently, the reason is that the normal multiplayer, the normal core, is hardcore. Oh my god, oh my god. 
Oh my god! My god, the time to kill is similar to hardcore. They have removed the normal minimap, so technically that's what you have in hardcore, right? That's why people play hardcore because they want lack of minimap, they want less HUD, and they want faster TTK, but we have it in the normal multiplayer, right? But now we're gonna be getting tier one hardcore. Damn, man, like, does that mean that it's gonna be having an extra schlong or something like that? Because I'm kind of confused. Like, why call it tier one? But okay, I mean, damn, I call marketing email also appears to reveal one of the upcoming mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, season prestige icon and yep ladies and gentlemen you know clap it up we're gonna be having prestige back but it's only gonna be season prestiges okay so season prestige icon is kind of looking good but uh, surely after the fact uh, that's gonna go away and you're gonna be left deficient with like level 55 i mean damn man they also canceled the normal prestiges but you know what the, 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 the prestige icon is looking kind of good i wish that was like a normal prestige icon not necessarily a season prestige but i mean whatever it is what it is okay and also sledgehammer my balls came up <laughs> And they have announced that Van Garbage and Warzone Pacific, <laughs> Warzone Pacific Battle Pass will be disabled starting November 16th. Wait, what? Including tier skips expiring, there will be a level increase to 2500 to allow progression to continue. I cannot even compute. Oh my god. Oh my god. We, we had like level 2500 in that? I mean, damn. That kind of explains I didn't necessarily play it. Slushy would know. Yo, Slushy, can a brother perhaps know what this 2500 is all about in Van Garbage? I, I wanna know, okay? Also, during the Modern Warfare 2 beta, some of the homies actually went inside the menus and they spotted the fact that there was M13B DLC weapon, or I mean a weapon. We didn't know it was a DLC. We thought that it would be in the game, but right now it is not in the game and a lot of the homies are thinking that this is dead ass gonna be a dlc weapon not just that you also got the chimera or chimera or however you pronounce that you can roast me in the comments if i pronounced it wrong, wrong. just like how the homie nero cinema says that ricochet i mean this is apparently the honey badger from the call of duty ghost days and this is how close we're gonna get to that call of duty ghost 2 <laughs> we're likely gonna be seeing that season one reveal season one gameplay trailer in the week of november 7th that's gonna be making it one week before launch Call of Duty usually drops it sometimes on Tuesdays, uh, sometimes on Wednesdays, sometimes even on Thursdays, and other times even on Friday. I know, but recently Call of Duty and Activision, they have been very spontaneous, so what am I supposed to do, huh? Huh? And for this story, ladies and gentlemen, you might want to hide your wives, you might want to put your kids to beds, because this is actually shocking, okay? I just cannot even compute. Cannot even compute, okay? Because apparently, uh, shout out to the homie Taron for adding me in this situation. The homie Mr. Man is dropping W as well. I mean, damn, why? You probably want to know because apparently the homie says that IGN gave Mod Warfare 2 2022 multiplayer a higher review score than Van Garbage multiplayer. And you look at this one. So Mod Warfare 2 got that great reviewed on PC, also available on Xbox and PlayStation. And Van Garbage had seven, and even seven. That's criminal. No, okay. And my god, the funniest thing here is that Modern Warfare 2 campaign, which is considered to be really good by a lot of the community, was given lesser score than Van Garbage campaign. It was uh, given 6, and now the multiplayer of Modern Warfare 2 is given 8, and a lot of people are complaining, people are tearing each other apart, people are dropping spine busters everywhere, and yeah, man, I just was like, uh, but it works, it works, number 8, which is actually really good of them, so I gotta absolutely clap up for that. But I mean, damn, right? Because I'm seeing people, and some of you even forget Slushy. I'm not talking about Slushy, okay? Slushy always gonna say Van Garbage is better, but that is. Wrong. wrong and once again that is wrong. wrong but the fact that i'm seeing some of you say that vain garbage is better than garbage warfare 2 i just cannot even compute my brain left the building okay i just cannot but we got a disastrous story at our hand click on this video on the screen they are indeed trying to cancel call of duty and activision some of the craziest story of them all time because there's a gamer that actually went up to Activision HQ as well, man. Click on this video on the screen and I will see you right there. Subscribe. Hit the bell.